Question of the Week from the Naked Scientists. Hello and welcome to Question of the Week from the Naked Scientists with me, Diane O'Carroll. This week there's no need for us all to be naked because we can wear t-shirts. This is John Gamble from Louisville, Kentucky, and uh, I've had a burning question in the back of my mind when I went to a scientific meeting of ocular scientists down in Sarasota, Florida. There was this lovely young scientist from Budapest who forgot her bathing suit and put on shorts and a white t-shirt when she went swimming, and she was alarmed and some of us not so alarmed to discover that the t-shirt became virtually transparent as soon as it got wet. But she realized this, and she also was smart enough to pull the T-shirt away from her body. And when she did that, it was no longer transparent. And I'm not really sure what the optics involved and why that happens. I'd be very interested if someone could offer an answer. So what's the physics that keeps the T-shirt competition in business? Hi, my name is Professor Jeremy Baumberg, and I run a nanophotonic centre in Cambridge. Well, let's talk about the other way. How come we can't see through people's clothes? And there are two reasons for that. One of them is because we put dyes in them, would absorb certain colours of light and let other ones reflect back. But that's not true for white clothing, like cotton. So how come we can't always see through people's clothing, their underwear? And the reason is because clothes are made of fibres which scatter light. And they scatter light in exactly the same way that milk looks white. It's got tiny particles, called casein, which are about the same size as the wavelength of light, and light really strongly scatters against those particles into all directions, so we can't see through milk. So cotton is made of lots of fibres around the same size as the wavelength of light, and we can't see through it. When it gets wet, there's water around all those fibres, and then the light no longer gets scattered very strongly. So basically the material becomes more transparent. But what about lifting the t-shirt away from the skin? Why should an extra layer of air make a difference? So what's happening is that at each of the interfaces between the materials like the cotton and the water and the air, light is getting bounced, it gets scattered around. And so the fewer interfaces you have, then the less light gets scattered and the more you can see through it. So we might think of a nice experiment. How can we actually make clothes more transparent? Certain people might be interested in that. So you could imagine vapours with uh, liquids which would absorb onto the cotton fibres. The fibres swell as well. That's also why the interfaces change. So you can imagine some very devious scientists deciding to really make clothes more transparent with the right spray. So the emperor's new clothes could come with a spray can. Light is scattered by dry fabric, but not so much by wet fabric, meaning you can see through it. When John's colleague lifted the T-shirt away from her skin, she was adding a layer of air in between her and the T-shirt, and it's this extra interface which will cause the light to scatter again, making it opaque. And you can see the same effect when paper gets grease on it, or when glass is dropped into oil and becomes invisible. Next week, we'll find out if money really does grow on trees. Hi, it's Dominic from Newmarket. I'm just calling about how money is made and how the different colours are formed. I want to know, how do they get that foil strip to go in and out of the paper? Help us to answer this question of the week by emailing chris at thenakedscientist.com or by writing your answer on the forum at thenakedscientist.com forward slash forum. Question of the Week is part of the Naked Scientists podcast and supported by the EPSRC, the Wellcome Trust and UK Fast. Look us up online at nakedscientists.com.